Hello everyone. Now let us see this reaction named Birch reduction. Very important reduction which we learn in chapter hydrocarbon under alkyne. And this reaction generally takes place in presence of sodium or lithium in the presence of liquid ammonia. Now we'll discuss what is the exact role of NaLi and what is the role of liquid ammonia in this process. If it is a terminal alkyne, then it will not show any reduction rather it will capture H plus from terminal position because terminal alkyne carries this terminal alkyne carries acidic hydrogen. So I can give one example here. Let's say we take CH3C triple bond CH. Okay, and you bring this kind of reagent. So as a basic reagent, it can pick this hydrogen and form CH3C triple bond C minus Na plus over if Na is used or Li plus if Li is used, nothing else we can expect. So can we say this is not a reduction reaction in the sequence? So it won't be considered as a reduction reaction in that case. All right, now, when it is an internal alkyne, what is meaning of internal alkyne? So let us say we are given something like CH3C triple bond CCH3. Now this triple bond is in the middle. It is not on terminal position. There's no hydrogen which we can draw on terminal position. So this internal alkyne can give us transalkene. And there's a proper mechanism for it. I'll give you the hint of mechanism. Let's say sodium as a metal provides it, provide electron to us. This electron, when you bring it here, can I say the bond will break and will create CH3C minus a double bond on this carbon, a radical and one CH3. Okay, now if you observe this situation, can we say anion and radical both are formed and they are kept next to each other. Observe this thing carefully. So if they are next to each other, they will ensure that they minimize the repulsion. How is it possible? It is possible if we can keep, let's say this is anion, so the, these two electrons and then double bond and there's the radical and the CH3. So what we are doing here is, if you draw the CH3 similar to the previous case, what we can ensure here, that they are kept in opposite orbitals to ensure minimum repulsion. Minimum repulsion, so can I say it will increase the stability of the given intermediate. Okay, fine, after doing this much, what could be the next possible step? In the next possible step, ammonia which you have drawn, this negative anion is capable enough to pick this hydrogen and set free NH2 minus out of it. Okay, so what will happen because of this? Because of this, this CH3 has got C and this position double bond and this has hydrogen which has come from NH3 and this radical which is attached here with CH3 can further get attack from the electron. What is the source of electron? Once again, this is Na plus plus electron and this will create CH3C double bond C anion at this position CH3 which is in trans case and later we can repeat the same step which we have done earlier and with the help of this step we can expect NH2 minus removal and formation of an alkene which is trans type. This trans alkene which is formed here. This is a trans alkene. Confirms that we have performed birch reduction on a triple bond, which is see she uh, check the structure, which is an internal alkyne. So it is giving you trans alkene. Now let us check the next case. Only one double bond. So in case of only one double bond, let's say this is given. Now you try to do the reaction. So it in this sequence we cannot get any further reaction. Because you can't create again negative charge at this place. Negative at this place will be highly unstable. So no further reaction through birch reduction. At the same point of time, if there is a conjugated double bond system. So let us say there is a double bond conjugated system like this. What is meaning of conjugated system when we have alternate double single double bond. And now we bring Na, Na plus plus electron. So in this case, when you attack it here, you know, so this bond will break. And this carbon ion can be stable check this thing okay there's a negative charge which can stabilize itself with the help of this conjugation and give us formation of negative at this place 
double in the middle and radical here now you can observe this is anion this is radical they are apart they are stable next step this will go and wrap H from NH3 and after doing this the next step is so can I say this carbon has got now hydrogen okay this is the hydrogen that it has got now later the radical part will go and wrap electron and the source of electron is again hidden in Na because Na will give you any present electron this electron will go attack here will form see this is a double bond this is a carbon having hydrogen now the next carbon having now negative charge because if you see this thing this electron has attacked here this has become negative now this negative can go and grab H again what is the source of H so we know the source of H is ammonia so what's the final answer we get a double bond on this carbon we have hydrogen on the other side we have carbon on this carbon we have hydrogen so both the hydrogens are attached on, in this way and these are four carbons one two three and four if you see the initial compound it is also carrying it is also carrying four carbons right so four carbons and the final structure is in front of us so this will be answer for conjugated double bond system now next is benzene or benzenoid compound so this we will cover in the separate video of birch reduction later thank you very much for liking this watching this video thank you